Good day everyone, I am Joshua Ehos and I am blogging to you and I'm going to discuss about Columns Law. Now, what is Columns Law? Columns Law is a law that states like charges repel and opposite charges attract with a force proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Coulomb's law is a mathi mathematical description of the electric force between charged objects and it is formulated around the year 18th century by a French physicist Charles D. Augustin, Charles Augustin de Coulomb. It is analogous to the Isaac Newton's law of gravity. Now, who is the proponent of the Coulomb's Law? The proponent of the Coulomb's Law is Charles Augustine de Coulomb. And he was a French physicist and a mili military engineer. And as he is best known as the anonymous discoverer of now what is now called Coulomb's Law. He also did important jobs on a friction. Charles, D, Charles Augustine de Coulomb is born on John 14 around the year 1736 at Angolome, France. And he also died on the year 1806, August 23, at Paris, France. And now, I am going to show you the formula of the Coulomb's Law and give you an, an example of Coulomb's Law problem solving. Now this is the Coulomb's law formula. This letter F here is the magnitude of the force and this K is the Coulomb's constant which is 8.99 times 10 with a power of 9. And this is the first charges and the second charges. These two are the product of two charges. Well, this D at the bottom is the distance between charges, which it has a uh, squared. Now, this is the problem that I am going to give an example problem. There are two charges separated by a radius of 50 centimeter. The, ch the first charge is 30C, while the charge 2 is 40C. The given R, this radius is 40, 50 centimeter radius and first charge 30C and second charge 40C. Since there are two charges separated by the radius of 50 centimeter, the first charge positive 30 and the second charge positive 30. And now we are going to use the formula now, of the Coulomb's Law. We are going to use the formula of the Coulomb's Law right here. This is the equation of the Coulomb's law. This is the 8.99 times 10 with a raise of the power of 9 new meter square. New, new meter square. And this this 8.99 times 10 with a raised power of 9 represents the k which is the Coulomb Coulomb's constant. And these two right here 30c and 40c are the two product charges. With, the, with this bottom, with this bottom, right here, is the radius, which re represents the distance. Now, in starting the first step, is we are going to cancel out the new meter square and the two product of charges, also the millimeter square, meter square. After we cancel this out is we are going to multiply since we already have we already have a two charges and next we are going to find what is the force now this is the result of the two charges which is multiplied and now we are going to calculate and convert the radius and this is the result of the 50 that is squared that is squared and this is the result which is 0 0.25 and now third step is to cal calculate 
it all which is the constant k 8.99 times 10 raised to the power of 9 and multiply by 1200 and then it's going to be divided by the 0 0.25 radius and now this is the total of all of all the calculations which is 4.32 times 10 with the raise of the power of 13 and this is now our force which is n and now since we are done that is all guys for the columns law peace